Hello friends, how are you doing today? Fine. Okay, let me ask some other question. How are you feeling today? Good. Happy. Wow, that's so nice. Why am I asking you this question? I am asking you this question because today I am going to explore feelings and emotions with you in today's activity. I am Priyanka, your friend from the ATI and today we are going to talk about emotions. There are emotions which are visitors for all of us. You know that every single day you feel different. Okay? Sometimes when your best friend does a little this to you, a nudge to you, you feel okay. But sometimes on doing exactly the same activity, you feel agitated and irritated and you start fighting with them. Why this happens is because the moment for the first case when you did not respond, it happened when you were in a okayish mood and the emotions were calm and settled. But for the other time, probably you just got your result and you're not satisfied with your own exam preparation or your exam result. And in this discomfort, you're already there in this bad, sad emotion and your friend did this to you and you got agitated. Okay, so it is always based on all the outer world activities. They are always dependent on how we are feeling, what emotion is in inside of us. Majorly, there are four emotions, happy, sad, angry, afraid. Now, happy is a positive emotion, which gives us energy. We feel excited while sad, fear, and anger, these are negative emotions. They take away your energy. Today, I want all of you to get divided into groups of five or six students. And I'm going to give you four questions based on which you are going to create a role play of five minutes. And then you will project it in front of the entire class. All right, ready everyone? Divide yourself into group of five students and I am reading these questions based on which you are going to create your play right now. The first one is, in which situations or when do young people feel happy, sad, most afraid or most angry? Question two, what are the things we usually do when we are happy, sad, afraid or angry? Question three, how do we deal with these basic emotions? Question 4. What is good about managing our emotions? What is not good about being able to not manage them? Now, whatever emotion you picked up, you can pick just one emotion and you can work through that. And in the play that you will portray in front of the entire class, you have to mention that how are you going to deal with these emotions. After doing this role play, I want you to write some answers for your self-assessment and understanding your own emotions. Take out your Achievers Life Skills Workbook and turn to activity My Emotional Worksheet. And in this worksheet, we are going to talk about your emotion and how do you feel about them. I want, to write, I want you to write is your name so that you own this worksheet. And then write down when do you feel happy? What are the things that, that make you feel good about yourself? Next one is, write down when are you sad? What upsets you? What puts you in a bad mood? Now tell me, I'm curious to know, what is your biggest fear? What are you afraid of? Is it the spiders and the cockroaches? Or is it the bad marks in the examination? Or your best friend stopped talking to you? What is it? The next thing I want you to answer is, Write down what do you hate? There has to be something that you dislike completely. Now I want you to tell me what do you do when you are sad, when you are afraid, when you are angry. All of these boxes are given in your emotional worksheet. In all of these situations, how do you behave? When you are sad, do you cry? When you are angry, do you shout? When you are afraid, do you run away? What do you do? How do you process your emotions? The next thing is, sometimes I feel dash. How do you feel sometimes? 
that that emotion is not very good for you sometimes like you might feel lonely sometimes you might feel helpless what do you feel sometimes and how do you process through this the next question is what do you do when you feel that way write down your answers in the given space in your emotional worksheet i'm curious to know tell me how do you feel while writing and processing through your emotions and thinking of the ways to manage through them write your answer why do you think it is important for you to manage your emotions i would give you one hint if you do not manage your emotions for an example you are sitting in your exam hall okay and first question you tried to solve and the answer did not come and you are feeling so bad about it you you are into this negative emotion of self doubt and feeling bad if you know how to manage your emotions nicely you will leave this bad emotion with question number 1 itself and continue from question 2 with a good and positive attitude at the on the other hand if you do not know how to manage your emotion you will carry forward that sadness and that uh, self doubt and you will ruin your entire paper similarly there are so many other aspects to think about the same thing i want you to brainstorm and write an answer for me after filling this sheet up i know you're feeling more aware about your own emotions and you're more responsible to make yourself feel better after experiencing a certain emotion Remember my dear friends these emotions they are visitors they come to us they stay for a while and they leave but the problem is once they come to us if we keep on talking about the same emotion again and again and we keep on telling the same story we keep that emotion in us for more than required time i want you to know and understand that i'm feeling anger i'm feeling sad i'm feeling afraid think about it what can i do from here leave the emotion and do the action take care of yourself i had fun doing this activity with all of you i will see you again with another activity super soon till then bye bye